Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Eco Engineering. This is your host Chia Leilipur. In this video, we are going to program a strategy based on Bullinger band. This video has three sections. In the first section, I explain the basics of the algorithm. In the second section, we learn how to program the bands, uh, upper band, lower band, middle bands of the Bullinger band in the MQL language. And at the end of the video, we backtest this strategy to see the performance of this strategy and to know whether this strategy is profitable, does it worth to use it or not. If you are interested in these subjects and similar to that, please do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell button. So whenever we upload new video, you can receive a notification. And at the end of the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button. So YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in this subject. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay with me to the end. Okay, uh, to implement this strategy, we need two indicators. The first one is Bullinger band itself. If I double click on it, we can see uh, the parameters. The period is 20. The de standard deviation is three, but I prefer to use two. I press OK. And then we have RSA. Uh, indicator. The RSI indicator is 40, and I prefer to implement this strategy in H1, one hour time frame. And uh, the strategy is uh, like that. Whenever we are crossing the upper band, if I go closer, whenever we cross the upper band downside, and at the same time the RSI is not higher than 70, then we open a cell order and the cell order uh, stop loss would be several pips higher than the uh, sub, uh, the resistant here and uh, the risk to reward is based on our experience but in this case i'm going to put it the risk reward would be three so when if the stop loss be 20 point pips higher than the entry point the take profit would be uh, 60 pips or points uh, lower than the entry point. It was for selling and for buying, we do it vice versa. Whenever we cross the lower Bullinger band, the lower band of the Bullinger band to upside, and at the same time, the RSI is not below 30, then we open a buy order and the stop loss would be several pips below the entry point and take profit would be uh, in correspond to the risk to reward. Here it is three, then the take profit, if the uh, stop loss is, for example, 20 pips below the entry point, the take profit would be 60 point higher than entry point. So this is the buy signals. The buy signals first cross upper band downside, and at the same time, RSI, should be lower than 70. This is the signals for buying. And the signals for sell or sales order is crossing lower band upside. And at the same time, RSI should be higher than 30. This is the basics of this strategy. In the next section, I'll teach you how to program the middle, higher, and lower band of the Bullinger band. If you are not interested to the programming of the strategy and you just want to see the results, please please skip this part of the video to the minute and second that you can see below. So, I but I suggest you to watch it because at the end of the day, you should learn the algorithmic trading and the most, and the most important focus of our channel is on the algorithmic trading. Stay with me with the next chapter. So, to program this algorithm with MQL language, we open the meta code language editor. And here we open a new project, Expert Advisor. If you are not familiar with programming with MQL language, I leave the video to the complete course from A to Z here. And please go look at it and learn it. It's designed for even the beginners who are not familiar with the programming at all. I press next and I give it a name, for example, Bullinger Band test and I use several E because I have already I think I used this name so press next next and uh, finish 
here I do not go to program the algorithm the whole algorithm because everything that I'm I use for this algorithm here this is the algorithm that I'm going to backtest everything that I use there is explained in the programming course so I again suggest you to go the programming course the only thing that is not explained there is how to implement the bands and we do it right now together so the first thing that we define is the middle band uh, it's a variable named middle band and it is nothing more than a moving a simple moving average and uh, uh, it is I M A and we define it the first variable is the symbol we define symbol double parentheses then time period we want it to be period current a period that, that we are using right now and then int period we want it to be 20 and uh, moving average shift to zero then uh, the method we want it to be mode EMA uh, excuse me simple moving average because SMA because it's simple moving average uh, I don't explain the IMA because I, we have already explained it but just it's as simple as you can see then we want to apply it to price close and the, sh the, the last shift is that we want to calcul calculate it for the current candle or previous candle or two candles before and so on if it is zero it means the current candle one means the second candle two is the uh, third candle and uh, we can just continue like that so i this one in this case i want to uh, have it for the first candle and i close it now uh, there's a second variable is the upper band band it's equal to I band and to see how it works we double click on it and press F1 in some systems it might be function F1 but normally it's F1 so how does it work it has several entries several entry parameters the first one is the symbol in which symbol we want to have these i bands then the time frame period deviation standard deviation that we entered for that then band shifts we don't change it it should it is zero applied price we want to apply it to the close uh, and mode if i go to mode here i can see what does it mean with the mode we can tell it that we want to calculate it for upper band or lower band so in this case because it's for upper band we use mode upper and the last one is shift if shift is zero it means calculated for the current candle if it's one it means for the previous candle and if it's two it means for the third candle and to the end we can do it for all candles that we have on chart so we do it right now the first one was symbol then the second parameter is the time frame we want it to be period current then uh, period in this case it was 20 then uh, standard deviation we want it with 2 then the band shift here it's written in band shift it's 0 uh, then applied price we want it to be price close do this calculation based on the close price and the mode because in, it is upper band we want it to be mode upper and the last shift is zero because we want it to we want it for the first candle and for the lower candle it's exactly the same I copy and paste it I change the name here lower and uh, here just we should change the mode to lower two so it calculates the lower upper and middle band for the first candle this candle this candle but 
if I want to calculate for this candle or this one or this one or this one, then I should use the shift. So for the first candle, we can call it the middle band for zero, upper band zero, and lower band zero, but we can do it for the second candle because it's useful. We use it usually. Uh, and the middle uh, middle band one, upper band one, and the lower band one. Just we change the shift here, and we can do it for the third candles candle two, but the number would be two. Again, please, if you are not familiar with programming with MQL, see the course which I explained everything there, and it's very useful. I think it's the most important video that we have in our channel. And like that. Okay, we learned how to program the bands, upper band, lower band, middle band of the Bullinger band. Uh, and uh, in the next section, we backtest the program that we have here. This is the program that I wrote. We backtest it together. So in this section, we backtest the strategy that we have implemented in the previous section, and we use strategy tester to backtest our strategy and see its performance uh, and uh, to see what does it do. So for this purpose, first of all, I click on view and click on strategy tester to have the strategy tester here. In this section, expert properties, I want uh, the algorithm starts with 100,000 uh, US dollar and it can open both long and short positions. I press OK and uh, from here I choose my strategy. The name is Bullinger Ben RSI. This is the strategy that I have implemented. Uh, and uh, in the symbol part, as I mentioned, I prefer to run it on the CHF JPY. And uh, I want to backtest it from the 1st of July to the 13th of. Uh, October. So everything is okay. I press start and I want to have a suitable template, which is this one. And the backtest is started. So it already opened two orders. Now, how does it work? It opened an order based on what we mentioned in the previous section. And uh, for example, in this case, the stop loss is imagine that it is uh, 20 pips lower then the uh, risk to ratio uh, risk to reward is uh, 3 so if the stop loss is 20 pip lower then the take profit would be 60 pip higher so we open an order here and the stop loss is here for example imagine that the stop loss is 20 pips then we trail stop loss by each 20 pips that we go in profit Remember that this is how the trail the trailing work. I press continue to see the performance and I fast forward the video. So uh, I will be back when the back test is over. So backtest is over right now. So uh, we go to the report part to see uh, what was the performance of this strategy. So it starts with $100,000 as an initial values, initial deposits. And uh, at the end, it is in profit by 3,220 almost. Uh, it, uh, it's, it's in profit by 3.2%. It's not a lot. Uh, but I think it could be better if uh, we do the trailing stop loss better and it can be much more efficient. So uh, total trades, it uh, trades, it opened uh, 49 trades. The, sh the short positions won rate is 37%, 37.5%. Uh, the profit trades 
rate are for the around 47 percent but because the risk to reward is three then uh, we are in profit in general uh, this is the short position one based on percent and long position one based on person which is 37 of uh, short positions close with profit and uh, 51 percent of uh, long positions were closed in profit so we back tested this strategy as i mentioned before uh, it's not very it's profitable of course but it's not a lot but by working on the ways that we can trail the stop loss it can be even more profitable so i hope you liked this video if you like it please hit the like button so the youtube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in this kind of videos and subjects i hope you have a good day goodbye